Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode at Wackerash Gaming. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Oh no freaking way it's just a helicopter. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some sneak peek of this new helicopter feature from the PTR server. Just a disclaimer my dear mammals, this is the PTR server, and there are some features that are working, and there may be some bugs that still needs to be ironed out before this feature is fully prepared before it hits the live server. Nevertheless, I want to be absolutely clear, the helicopter will be rotating its way to your state soon. If you like this video, please show this gorilla some love and smash that subscribe button, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. So the first question, I ask myself what are the benefits of having the helicopter feature? Do you remember how useless your second march was following the release of the aircraft feature? Well, one immediate benefit is that your second march would finally be able to be worth something going forward both in SVS or Capital and in Reservoir League. Based on my testing, you will get the benefits immediately following the release of the helicopter feature to your state, as long each of your march are assigned with an aircraft and the helicopter. Next you are probably wondering, how will this impact the battle stats? This will ultimately change the landscape, bringing further strategical and technical requirements to the state of survival gameplay going forward. Whilst following the introduction of the aircraft feature, you can only use it to one of your marches, and only in this one march will have the health and lethality boosted, now you will have two equivalent march that will share the total health and lethality boost. There is this new squadron feature, where you assign your aircraft. A squadron can contain up to three aircraft. What next a rocket, a spaceship, Battlestar Galactica anyone? Nevertheless, from what I understand from the squadron feature from initial test was that both the aircraft battle report and the helicopter battle report had the same health and lethality stats. Does this mean it is irrelevant where you assign the aircraft or helicopter to your main march? Does this mean the squadron feature allows you to boost both your marches which has been assigned with aircraft or helicopter with the total buff of health and lethality? Watch that space closely. There are also the similar benefits to both the rally leader and rally joiner. As the rally leader activating the helicopter talent mass assault which brings the benefit of launching a rally, or when acting as the garrison commander friendly troops attack is amplified by the percentage defined based on the helicopter upgrades. This is the same as the aircraft talents, rally enhancement talent. Meanwhile as a rally joiner, there are two choices of helicopter talent which you can activate. Precise strike which brings the benefit of joining a rally or garrison, your troops attack is amplified by the percentage defined based on the helicopter upgrades. Then, there is also Iron Bastion, which brings the benefit when joining a rally or garrison, your troops probability of being heavily wounded is reduced by the percentage defined based on the helicopter upgrades. This reminds me of the aircraft talents, tactical supplies, and protective paint respectively. I know what may be running in your mind, you are wondering what talents for rally joiners to use? I personally ask my rally joiners to use the aircraft talents, tactical supplies only. As this boost my rally attack power quiet significant both in capital clash and in reservoir raid. Therefore, I am going to request all my rally joiners to use the helicopter talent precise strike when joining my rallies for the similar impact. Remember, the aircraft talent, protective paint and the helicopter talent, Iron Bastion, just reduces the percentage of troops that is sent to your hospital following an attack or defense. As most seasoned state of survival players will know this by now, continuous batch healing during Capital Clash will deliver better results than using these talents for less wounded going to your hospital. The fourth question I asked myself was, what sort of components do I need to upgrade the helicopter? This is where you will need both the super alloy and the special coating to upgrade your helicopter's components to a higher level. Then, we come to the final question, how do I get these components to upgrade the helicopter? There are effectively five ways to get these components. 
The first method is the solo assault mission which are available to the survivors community between Monday to Friday on a weekly basis. It is extremely important to remember that in the solo assault mission, there is no need to rush, so please save your advance relocators. The second method is the coordinated operation mission which are available to the survivors community on Saturday and Sunday on a weekly basis. The third method will be via the raid tickets. Just a small tip always collect your raid tickets daily, and since you can accumulate them, keep it to use it at a later stage, when you are able to obtain more materials for the raid tickets that you have collected. Using the raid tickets at the earlier stages will yield you less materials. The fourth method is through the redeem functionality in your hangar, the exchange store. It's not been updated in the PTR server, but I am sure when it goes to the live server we will find out more. Finally, the fifth method would be through purchasing bundles. If it was anything like the aircraft bundles, I anticipate that there are two types. One would be the, the helicopter component special bundles and the normal helicopter component bundles. I'll leave you with a final nugget of advice. Settlement buffs works in both the solo assault and the coordinated operations, but no need to activate massive march as your troops amount are fixed. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video please subscribe, leave a comment and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos.